If you have been on my channel for any period of time, you undoubtedly have seen the Tim Pool videos that I've done. I like Tim Pool as a journalist. He has he tries to stay open-minded. A lot of people call him a fence sitter and milk toast, but that's really how you have to be in order to maintain an open mind and be willing to have discussions. And that's one of my favorite parts about him, Jim Rogan, a lot of the people and individuals that are considered taboo or dark web material. I go and listen to him for a bit and it's just like, okay, he's just, you know, going off of uh, some statistics or some study and they're just chopping it up. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, not everyone agrees. The uh, realm or the battleground of free speech is a fantastic thing. It's one of the things that really makes America, America. And I love that about this country. But like I said, not everyone agrees. So we have this article coming to us from the Post Millennial. Updated, Mines IRL in real life free speech event will take place despite smear tactics and threats of violence. This is written by Libby Emmons and Barrett Wilson. Update. The Broadway Theater in Pittman, New Jersey and Mines IRL mutually agreed to not hold the event at the theater. The event, however, will take place at an undisclosed location in the Pittman, Philadelphia area, which is messed up that they have to move in the first place. All right. Like, it sucks. So, and this is coming to us from Tim Pool. So, Antifa started threatening my local event, which takes place only a few miles from my house, then claims they are acting in self defense. I effing live here. Get the F out of my area and stop threatening us. Now, the group in and of itself that sent the threats are not Antifa because Antifa is not allowed to operate here in New Jersey. Emerging social media platform Minds has received threats of violence in advance of its upcoming event in Pittman, New Jersey. Minds IRL is billed as an event about ending racism, violence, and authoritarianism. Yeah, best of luck with that. The one-day conference will feature, speecher, feature speakers including Tim Pool, Blair White, Andy No, Carl Benjamin, Lauren Chin, and Megan Murphy to name a few. Now, if you're unfamiliar, um, Carl Benjamin is Sargon of Akkad. He uh, w was in UKIP and they... Uh, he ran he ran a campaign out there um, in in the UK or the EU whatever the hell you call it. Um, Lauren Chin is Roman millennial, um, and I've actually done videos pertaining to Blair White in the past. Go check out the um, channel plug here. Uh, go check out the uh, official elected official channel where I did a video um, with when it was her versus Candace Owens. So I've already covered Blair. I'm rather familiar with Blair, Blair White and Andy No. I did a video on him and when he was attacked by the protesters in um, Portland. Minds is a new social media platform that endeavors to pick up the threads of free speech, open mindedness, and thoughtful discourse, where Twitter and Facebook have failed. With account suspensions, shadow banning, and algorithm manipulation, the social media giants have misled users. New social media platforms like Minds are springing into, the, uh, vo into that void, and they're not content to simply commune in a virtual space. That's why Minds is hosting this conference. No, in particular, has been the subject of several hit pieces lately that allege that his motivations in, co in covering Antifa protests and tactics are less than pure. He has had many of many defenders and has not backed down from his commitment to covering this offshoot of authoritarianism on the left, nor their alt-right counterparts. Which, according to CNN, is groups like the Proud Boys. But come on, man. In addition to phone calls and messages, threats came in the form of a hacked Twitter account from the Pittman Theater, the chosen venue for the Minds IRL conference. The message was released. Well, this message was released. The platform racist. This account has been taken over until the Pittman Theater agrees to cancel the Minds event, hosting racist, transphobic. Blair. Blair White is a tr is, is transsexual. Okay, Holocaust denying speakers on August 31st. This account, the, account, the account is now protected. Another tweeter with the handle had, um, at Bread and Roses suggested that Mines was going to fight racism by taking the diverse group of people assembling for the event and locking them in and lighting a fire. Wow, okay. The Red Stripes. Maybe they're fighting it by, yeah, oh my god, that's just terrible. A Twitter account. Red, wait a second. Red Stripe. You do you remember the Red Stripe? Isn't that the beer? Oh, 
<laughs> Hooray beer, right? Like, isn't that red stripe? The account, an account, a Twitter account called No Hate New Jersey appears to be at least partially responsible for targeting the Minds Conference with the aim of shutting it down. No Hate New Jersey. Update, we are receiving word that the theater decided to cancel the event. However, we are waiting on a public statement from the theater confirming this, so keep please keep us please keep up the pressure the event itself has been moved and once we find out where we will let everyone know. this is jacked up man i i'm not sure like i'm interested like to see who would show up that's uh this is something that we'll definitely pay attention to on the day of man without question after the threats minds issued a statement that the conference would not be deterred myth misinformed <laughs> Fun. Official Minds IRL statement. The event will take place on Saturday, 831 in Pittman, New Jersey. We will inform all the attendees of the venue location as we get closer. Hashtag freedom of speech lives on. Tim Pool, a speaker and co-sponsor of the event, launched a live cast on YouTube addressing the threats in the upcoming conference. Okay, so yeah. I think I, I think we've covered uh, most of the just the the meat and potatoes of this get you guys all caught up as far like deal is, is that Tim Pool is calling them Antifa in Jersey Antifa is not allowed to operate that's why um you know you no hate New Jersey would be just an offshoot would be a different cell um holding the same ideology uh, ideology that deters freedom of speech and having the debates in uh, public forums you know because these debates need to be available if you have your idea present it present it and if you have a, and if the, if you can defend that idea if you can um properly you know stand up on that idea then guess what it's a solid idea if not then it will easily be knocked down but to sit there and try to just shut down speech before it even happens is just authoritarianism and fascism fascism in and of itself and that's no good man that is definitely no bueno so shout out to tim pool hope the event goes off beautifully i'm not about i'm not even though it is taking place here in jersey it's south jersey i'm a nerve i'm a north jersey boy but always but either ways you know i mean just a hell of respect and i hope it goes off without a hitch it really should because we have over 500 law enforcement agencies here in this state so yeah nothing really goes down in jersey without government with its eye on everything you know so with that being said what we're going to do is we're going to draw this one to an end all the internet stuff if you liked it toss it a like dislike yeah go ahead do that too i ain't scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and want to get videos like this every single day share because sharing is caring and youtube bitch you not sure if they're going to be willing to do all that you know and speak let me know what do you think in the comments are you for freedom of speech are you for the battleground of ideas are do you want to see people just duke it out with words and ideas ideas and thoughts and if they are ridiculous thoughts then they will be and, and the, the thoughts will be treated as such the thoughts of racism the thought of racial superiority or really you know saying um any type of superiority no matter what i mean i i do this thing when i run across people that are all that also wear glasses i say hey yo glasses gang we basically cousins we fam you know it's a joke that a lot of people actually like get and laugh with me about you know but the deal is is that if we if we want to sit here and talk about you know hard to see superiority <laughs> terrible sight superiority yes we are superior you can do it with anything so just freaking relax man Seriously, let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next one. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs>